is Joshua back on CCG Twitch and today we are going to play some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, and um, I wanted to play Burning Abyss because, you know, Beatrice, new, nice, I uh, wanted to try it out, but... But, 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 Be Beatrice still OCG on the end since the original release will be tomorrow. Um, so we cannot play it in ranked, so in the beginning we're gonna play some ranked with Draco Pals, but you guys can message me on DM, and uh, if you wanna play against Burning Abyss, and then we can do some viewer games, and there we can play Burning Abyss, because it doesn't matter that it's OCG. So if you guys wanna play, just uh, message me and we can play. Uh, until then, I'm just gonna rock, hop into a ladder with some Draco Pals, uh, I changed the list a little bit uh, after seeing YCS Vegas, I like the idea of the winner of playing two scolding two strikes, we're gonna try that out. With that of course also the third Ariadne is very good. So yeah, and the rest is pretty much standard, I mean you know the deal with Draco Pals is Draco Pals. Ready. Chevalier de Fromage. Let's go. We lost the first dash roll, it's okay. Terror top. It's a good card, I'm playing that in Burning Abyss, you'll see that later. Oh, but Minko, okay. Minko is different. Chicken game. What is this? Oh, it's Monarchs, no extra deck, right, right. But he bricked. Okay. Um, before we draw with Chicken Game, or before we use Face Off, we will rescue Rabbit and Face Off, I think. Uh, I mean, before we draw with Chicken Game or with Upstart, we're gonna Face Off and rescue Rabbit, just because, you know, makes sense. We have to keep in mind that he has the Minko, so is there a way we can win we, we, we would have to OTK with Felgrand uh, with Lancelot right yeah we will see if we can do that no Maxi please yeah bum, 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 bum. So what we can do here is we can uh, we can use the eccentric as a scale and then later on use it to pop the chicken game so we can draw. So we will face off and after that we will upstart upstart chicken game draw three more cards. Um, tuck, tuck. Slayer heads. Yeah, we didn't expect that. Never Slayer, never Slayer. Thinking, what do we don't want to do? We want to scale it? I think we want to scale it. We will do Majestic, uh, Dinosaur with these two. Hmm. Do we want to special summon Ariadna or put it into the scale? Technically. I think we want to put it into the scale. Some. Okay. Now we pay a thousand for chicken game. Get another face off. We don't want that. That's pretty bad. Another master. That's not the worst.
and the warning is pretty good okay so what we're gonna do here is we will be summoning Ignister and popping our own Ariadne to shuffle back the chicken game or the terror top I don't know which one yet so this is going to be a pretty good Dynoster right <laughs> The thing is right here, I want to force out the, the Menko because otherwise it's pretty annoying. So I'm just gonna pendulum some of these three into the, all of that. And I will be making one Ignister. Like this. We cannot summon anything because we drew the third slayer, it's pretty bad. But we will use effect of Ignister. We're gonna keep the eccentric in the scale. He's gonna give us a strike probably. Perfect. The Noster is gonna summon this, and now we're gonna run into the Minko, it's fine. It's fine though. We're gonna shuffle this back just to increase the chance of him not being able to tribute summon. And then I think we're going to make a Lancelot because that's better against Monarchs with the two Ignisters because we want Dinoster to protect our eccentric. Pretty good. Lancelot, pretty strong. Set, set. We're gonna set the face off too, just because so he, like he cannot twin twister both of these easily. And Majesta is gonna grab us a Joker. Looking good. For a new Paladin skin. I downloaded. I tried to download at. Uh, VOV, just WW Warcraft for uh, the, the skin, but I didn't play it yet. It's it, it looks hella boring, honestly. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, so he, he he's probably choosing to go first. So we're gonna side in these. No masks if they go first. You don't want that. Uh, we side out an eccentric and Ariadne strikes. Two Ariadne, three Ariadne. Nah, we burn this. Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
He goes first. Regeki is good, but our hand is pretty bad. Sided out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Did I try Armageddon with Hyrus? No, I didn't try it. I, I just think it's not very appealing, honestly. Like, I mean, if if you already play three eccentric, you should have it often enough. What do I think of premium gold? I like it. I mean, like, it probably destroyed some people who had a lot of cards, but I don't have a lot of cards, so I'm happy with it. Gives me the option to get to those cards easier, and uh, yeah. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. We're gonna wave ring for our Yatne here, pretty sure. With these two, and then we can put, we can put Eccentric and Ariadne is our skill. Sorcerer both scales. We're gonna get the double draw here. We don't need to use our uh, Joker yet. Our play is strong enough. Uh, we could get Joker though. How does it help us to get Joker? Here? No, I think we're gonna we're gonna keep Joker in the deck. Same as Monkey Board. Keep the option. Ariadne. Uh, we're gonna show him the strikes here. Or wait, no, we're gonna show him scoldings. Because we only have one face down so far. Scolding is powerful. He's probably gonna give us warning here, even because scolding is so powerful, it's the only face down. I would play three strikes in Cosmo. I would play three strikes in pretty much anything that is uh, playing back or right now. Unless, like in this version, I don't have room for three strikes because I added the scolding, so it's a different thing. Okay, how do we do this? Two of these are gonna be another Dinoster, then I'm gonna do another Majester, yeah. So I can draw first, yeah. I can draw first. Turtle. Draw. That's a good one. Strike. Sorcerer. Alright. Which one do I want to attach to the graveyard? A master pendulum. Oot, oot. Detach the Master Pendulum to summon another Master Pendulum. And we use a Dinoster. Summon back one of those. We cannot do anything with these because one of one is from Majestic, one is from Dinoster. But it's fine. Um, so we have Warning and Strike. The question is do we make any Grand. I'm, I'm playing both level 8s right now because um, you cannot play number 38 yet and I think this guy is a lot better in the mirror match because it can negate uh, Pendulum Sorcerer 
this guy is a lot better against Monarch and Cosmo, so I'm playing both right now. Before number 38, like, <laughs> once number 38 is, is out, you just always make 38, it doesn't matter. I think if you already have two counter traps, you should just make Lancelot. In the end phase, we're gonna grab an eccentric here because we already have a low scale to go without the turtle. What would you do if TCG replicated OCG hits? I don't know the exact stuff but from what I saw I think it was pretty good for the game yeah I agree with that I, I like most of these hits like I like that they hit pendulum really hard because I'm not a big fan of pendulum format and that's why I made Lance a lot <laughs> even though I, I doubt it was correct for him to uh, I think we're gonna warning first, just to keep the strike secret. We're warning the effect. So he doesn't know we have strike, that's the only reason why I'm using uh, warning first here. Because he gave us uh, the warning with uh, the Ariadne. This is the guy that searches a trap, right? Yeah. See, that's that's why I played that deck on the last stream, just to know what it does. Fog plate. Yep. So the problem here is that Lancelot will negate our own card if we if we just activate something. So I, th I think we just know summon something and attack. Um, yeah, to force out something from him. It's important. I think he doesn't know that I have to negate, okay. So he negated these two, I don't care about that honestly, I'm done I'm fine. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack on these. So there is so this guy I cannot XYZ with, this guy I cannot fuse with so I'm just gonna make another Majester, I think. And first of all, I think I can draw with Guitar Tool, yeah. Draw the wall. Draw a Lizard, it's fine. Um. Yeah, I mean. I could also cast away the one that is on Majestic Paladin. I think that's actually more beneficial. Now we're gonna summon this little boy right here. Mm. 
my DN rating is this. I mean, there's nothing we have to do here, honestly. We can just keep all that stuff. Because, like, he, he doesn't realistically have anything that he can do. Yeah. So, looking back at it, it was kind of important that we had the Lancelot to prevent the... Uh, don't just do it. You think Lancelot is worth running? Um, right now, I'm playing both. But tomorrow, in Premium Gold, there is um, number 38, and that's better. Like... Starting from tomorrow, you can you can kick both and just play uh, number thirty-eight. Really, it's just the only reason I play these two is because number thirty-eight is not legal yet on the end. Okay, Phantom Knights. What are we bored? I think Maxi is pretty good against them. When I played them, it was very annoying. Uh, since he might be going first, uh, I'm not gonna say twenties. Uh, I don't like twenties here. Mm -hmm. I know there's no way we can no we cannot keep going out this then. Yeah, this way. And decided out of way being nice too, that's right. Pure Burning Abyss or BA Phantom Knights? Well, with Beatrice coming out tomorrow, I think Burning Abyss is stronger. Like, a lot. Um, but... Right now, we, we, the mixture is probably better. But I'm not sure. But, um, like I already said in the beginning of the stream, I want to play BA today. I want to play some Burning Abyss, but I cannot do it on Ranked, so I'm gonna do some viewer games. So if you wanna play against Burning Abyss, just message me on DM. Because, uh, Beatrice is not legal yet in Raided. What set is Beatrice? Beatrice is in the premium gold thing that comes out tomorrow. on the new ban list well there isn't any new ban list yet but not only the OCG ban list I like that I like that it hit um, pendulum fairly hard and some monarch hits that is a good opening I like that he does the second Dante first because he's probably playing Burning Abyss in this deck, so. No, please, no Monarch FTK. Give me a reasonable deck to test against. So, it's not a bad opening for him, but it's also not the worst for us. Depends on how many back row. No? One, two, two. Yeah, and the Skarm. Our hand is pretty good. And the original Draco Flame 22, welcome to CCG stream. Okay, we can get rid of both back rows if we can afford to Wavering Eyes into Eccentric, but I don't think we can. It doesn't look like it. So the problem here is that one of them is the Fog Blade and the other one is probably a Strike. So we have to force out the Strike somehow with the face off into Nobia. 
Activate Draco face off. We really have to. If we hit Luster here, I think we can win this easily. Yeah, okay. And we do hit Luster, that's new. Special summon. scales <laughs> um, I am kind of forced to wavering here the thing is I cannot I cannot um, I should have I should have put it in scale uh, the question is do we normal summon or do we I think we normal summon yeah we go without pendulum summoning this turn it's fine Thoughts on two scolding, one strike, and baby. Well, I like the idea of it since I'm, I'm doing it right now. I like it. So, like, the cool thing now is if I had another pendulum, I could just MST the other one. That would be great, but I don't. Question is, do I MST this thing? <laughs> yeah, I messed this up. It's it's okay. I think we're now keeping that MST for that back row one. In, yeah. Wow, that was a pretty sick mill. That one sucked. getting wrecked here. Yeah yeah we 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 we, we lose yeah it's pretty fine.
Uh... Took out an eccentric because he's playing s fragrance and we go first anyways. Once again, I think it's important here to uh, use these cards before you upstart because you really don't want to draw into a master here or a vector. And Shatters, welcome to the stream. And we get Vector. We will special summon now. Yeah, this time, this time it's correct. Oh. Oh. Now we use upstart. That's a good one. So we will normal summon this, make Dinoster, yeah. Lust eine Runde Super Quantum Stream. Ich habe Super Quantum schon mal gespielt im Stream und da habe ich auch am Ende gesagt, äh, wie es mir gefallen hat und so. Das kannst du dir gerne mal angucken. Das ist auf YouTube und auch hier auf Twitch. Hey, du, we can duel. Yeah, we can, we can play. I, I, told, I told you guys, uh, just message me on the end if you want to play and then we can play. Because I want to test some Burning Abyss and I cannot do that in uh, the end ranked right now. Okay, so we still have the Dinoster effect, we have one engrave. Oh, Dinoster... Pain. Which one is better against this deck? Is it Felgrand or is it Lancelot? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe just, you just keep uh, Ignister in that matchup. Summoning an Ignister here because it puts a lot of pressure on Burning Abyss, they have to get rid of it. And we're gonna use the effect of this guy again. And we're just gonna keep it like this. And this. And end phase we will get a Joker. Joker, Joker. So like the only thing that messes up us up is right get your dark hole because otherwise we just have maxi behind a big board and that's like really really good. So he was wasting that Twin Twister here just so you can get the graveyard effect.
So we're gonna just gonna drop that Maxi and uh, make him rage. <laughs> Boop. I mean, he has no option other than going off right here because we have this Ignister on board and he just dies next turn. But he cannot kill us any either way. So, right. is this plus thousand? Yeah, no. Oh yes. So we take fifty. Oh lol, it's in defense. <laughs> that was retarded right there. Uh, I side out Ariadna whenever I think my opponent is gonna go first, pretty much. Because it makes sense. Alright. So there's a couple of ways how we can get over this right now. We can, for example, skull crow by Joker into a silver claw and then pop, use Master to pop itself or the lizard draw and then play the silver claw and then just attack. Yeah, I see you, bro. I see you. I reduce the trap count as well in these situations, yes. Like I usually take out the scoldings or the strikes depending on the matchup. Like against Monarchs I would rather take out the strikes, um, not the scoldings and the other way around of course. In other matchups, like in the mirror match for example, I would rather keep uh, strikes and side out the scoldings and the warning. So we're gonna use Lizard here and draw a card. If we get an eccentric here, our life will be really easy. This is... is this life? No. Vectors. No. That was like the worst card in the deck. Mm. Do we just attack? It is kind of bad against fog blades. Do we know that he has fog blades? No, we didn't see him searching it, so I'm just gonna attack. Ooh, twin twister. Okay, I like it. I like it. I mean the thing is, he, he also just cannot win, right? Like he has the, the Skarm Surge into Tour Guide, we can just scolding that. And we will just force him to use his um, Nightmare here.
gonna use the second thing here, yeah. We just set scolding him in next turn, no problem. And he forgot Skarm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, okay. I wanted him to do it, but it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't change anything, right? Like, he cannot win in the long term. Okay, so we have some viewer games coming up, so we can finally play some Burning Abyss. Who was it? Let me see. Um, yeah. So I, I really think Burning, Burning Abyss with Beatrice is very interesting. Hosting Marent. Finally, win the dice roll. Ping. So I think you start with burning this. From what I've seen so far, it just it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent if you can go first turn uh, Beatrice, and this is an excellent hand. I don't think Magnus FTK, like the Magnus deck, the Super Quantum deck is that good anymore. Like if people know what it does, like you, all, all, all you have to do is put like Kaiju in your side deck and, and like it's done pretty much. Three. Meh. Good. Really good. And Pichu is based god. Welcome to CCG stream. Thank you for the follow. Graf. We'll grab us a skarm. And I think now we upstart. The thing is we can only make one Beatrice with this hand, which only one Beatrice in a Dante. That's fine. We, if we get another Burning Abyss card or a trap here, we are really happy. But you know, we get Twin Twister. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so I think because we all also already have um, used Graph and we have Skarm already, we don't need to mill with that Dante anymore. So we, we're only going to do one. Like that, just so we can get that... Um, Skarm Surgeon in phase one, and we still hit a Rhino. <laughs> okay, um, there's nothing really we can send here. All I can do is like I can send Kanya and send uh, Fire Lake or Traveler just so I can have access to it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Like the thing is, I don't wanna I don't wanna send Sir because Beatrice itself is not a Burning Abyss. So, yeah. so Kanya into Traveler. Or Fire Link. Fire Link Traveler. Traveler. Barbarox to summon Beatrice. Over this Dante. And we use Barbar here. 
Um, which one can we banish? We can banish this and Farfa. Right? No, we don't want to banish Farfa. Okay, 300. We set the Twin Twisters, and in the end phase, we search something that we can discard with the Twin Twisters. So we're basically not tour guide, that's what I'm saying. Um, Skarm can grab another Skarm, right? No, okay. He cannot grab another Skarm, so we can grab a Sir. That's good. So Beatrice is very powerful because it is a quick effect, so like that's why I'm also running triple Farfa in this deck because we can we can really shut him down here if he tries to do anything. We basically have a free banish with Farfa in his turn. Um okay. So maybe he is that weird destiny hero deck from uh, ARGs. But I think that didn't run Zephyros, did it? I'm not sure. Oh, also, the reason why I kept Farfa. Oh, okay. The reason why I kept Farfa in Grave is because I can potentially I can detach Sir from Beatrice as a quick effect, send Alic, and then uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna detach Sir. No, we're gonna detach Dante. Dante. Twin Twister is like super GG. Wow, that, that, that's so good. So we can make another Beatrice discarding that. We start by twin twistering though. How do we win this turn? I'm not sure if we can. We can like far far this away with another Beatrice that's 5,000. I'm not sure if we can. With Barbara, maybe we can. We can just summon far far.
Bam. 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 So and what we do here is we put him in a situation where he's left with 300 and we have a quick effect Beatrice that can detach Sir to summon back Barbar to win us the game. Oh and also it makes this Zephyros dead in any in any case. And he takes all of it. Okay, that's that's game. Should be game. Uh, we get a Skarm Surge as well, but that's not gonna matter anymore. Um, and face Skarm. Just gonna grab a Rubik. Barbar is so strong. I mean, he has to do a move first, but in, in draw phase, like I'm activating Beatrice in draw phase. I doubt that he has anything that he can use in draw phase. So I don't know what, what kind of deck he's playing. I mean, all I saw was a Zephyros, a Graffer and a Shadow Dragon, so I'm guessing it's it's either some Destiny Heroes or just some dark like toolbox or anything, I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna keep Dark Horse. I'm citing Dark Horse because Dark Claw would fuck me up. Um, Maxi? Mm-hmm. <laughs> quits for some reason. Okay. So like one advantage of Burning Abyss um, now is that you don't have to play as many traps because Beatrice itself has um, has a built-in quick effect that lets you send Alec and um, Farfa to the grave on the opponent's turn. Like basically, if you if you make a Beatrice turn one with Alik or Farfar under it, that one Beatrice can use or enable both of these effects in your opponent's turn. Like you detach Alik, send Farfar, negate a card, banish a card, and that's like it's super good. Because also Beatrice, they just cannot afford to leave Beatrice on the board because it's gonna do the same thing again next turn. It's so much plus. So much pressure. It's like it's even worse than letting a Dante stay on the field because you know. It, Okay. Hey. 
can't use them. All right, monarchs. That could be a hard matchup. I don't know yet. Like I haven't played this matchup yet, but if you don't draw Twin Twister or Raigeki, it should be pretty much like. I mean, in theory, you have um, Farfa to out the Monarchs, but how do you get Farfa to Graveyard? Like, realistically, do you just crash it? No, right? It's like... Under Domain, I mean, yeah. What is that? Definitely not. This is a new card, that's right, it comes out in gold as well as I read it or I read it already. It's not, it's not bad, but I think I wouldn't play it. Tenacity into another pantheism to discard that card. You know? It's pretty much like a little bit like Galaxy Cyclone for uh, Monarchs, just that it destroys set cards both times. You know. It's not bad. This is a good discard for Pantheism, just not as good of a discard as Prime is. Mm -hmm. Red layered. Something I also really enjoyed when playing Burning Abyss all this time is that it just it, it never really breaks. Like hands like these seem weird, but it, it, they are they're actually not. <laughs> like it's pretty cool. I like it. So the best thing for him to read here for me is a Rhino. It's a Rhino. So now, if there's no domain, we can actually at least play a little bit. I don't know, but Monarchs is really hard to beat if they open well, even without domain. And there's no domain, okay. But our hand is not bad. We have a lot of special summons. We can banish this technically with Farfa, but he's just gonna chain Ether to summon it. Kind of not that great that we drew graph because now we don't have it in the deck anymore, but it's okay. I can just make a Dante here and um <laughs> How do I get over this guy? <laughs> oh, sadness. Sadness. Uh. Oh, okay. Monarch player is thinking, guys. Summon, he's gonna use Aether, that's a misplay, okay. I mean, it, it, it takes away the option for him to far far, that's what I'm saying, that's why it's not that great, I think. I 
I mean to avoid Farfa with it, like Yeah, yeah I mean, I can only assume that he wants to um, Kuras this, but that's that's not correct Mm-hmm So I have to keep in mind that I cannot use Kanya anymore to su to summon him. I can only summon these two guys, which kind of sucks. It sucks a little bit. The problem is how do I get rid of this ether? I don't <laughs> I would draw for Kurat. Oh, Kurat. Yeah, that's easy. Uh. Kurat. So that did now. But like, I have to, I have to, I can discard Graph to summon Beatrice. And then use Graph to summon Farfa and banish the Aether to get in 2500 damage, but that's not worth. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I want to get as many um, monsters on the board as possible for the Traveler, so... Max Sizzle. <laughs> oh, that Max Sizzle. We're gonna summon a Dante in attack here, just in case, like, if we hit a um, far far off of it. I mean, no, are we even using the effect? No, right? Oh, no, no. Because we cannot use Grav anymore. Yeah. So. Kanye to Grave, right? Kanye to Grave. Summon Beatrice in defense. Set Traveler. Pass. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it's not bad. We have the Traveler, but like, how do you get over these big guys consistently? Like, you can, right? It's just no way. Oh shit. Oh. So we can chain we can chain uh, Beatrice to get another Dante, yeah. Um we chain Beatrice chain Like that, and we sent. Do we send far far just to banish his ether? We may. Yeah. No, oh, that's okay. I forgot that he had the the, the the spirit. Otherwise, we would have gotten a lot more value out of the traveler. Like after he attacks the Dante and that and that Beatrice dies, we can just traveler for five or something. But it's fine. The 
it's still not easy for him to break a board of like Beat because Beatrice has exactly 2800 defense, which is like exactly what he cannot beat without having a domain. So he has to storm forward it, yeah. We can't really give him domain. It's just like that. Yeah. I thought about making Traveler chain link one, but but you have to target when you activate it. That's why you can't do that. I thought about it too. Yeah, it's the right thought process. Um. I don't think we call 8 here, I think we call 1. Kuraz, okay. Oh, and you chain Prime, that's also good thing. We still have the graph effect here. That's that's valuable because it will potentially get us like Skarm to the board for tour guide into the hand. So we have plays next turn, but it's just like how does Burning Abyss beat Monarch boards? Like kinda doesn't, right? Like unless unless I'm missing some option, I, I don't think there's anything that you can really do. I mean you cannot consistently make acid golem like every turn. Utopic Future is not that great against it. It's like it's hard, right? I mean, I guess Virgil works in some kind. Okay, so he uses Kuraz on himself. It's fine. So now he can just eye doors. Okay. Mm hmm. He's probably gonna like erase both shuffle Beatrice or something like that. I guess you can beat Monarchs if you have like Warning or maybe you, you should still play Horn of Heaven. I cut Horn of Heaven because I didn't like the idea of it. Because um, like you can't, you, you don't want to tribute Beatrice for it, right? And it's kind of like, in, next to Beatrice you can't have another Burning Abyss because they die when you have Beatrice. So the only way we, you can use Horn effectively is when you have Beatrice plus Dante. But I guess later on in the game uh, it still comes up. I don't know. Maybe you should try Horn out. No thanks. Um, maybe you can deck them out, I don't know, probably not. I mean they run out of cards rather quickly, right? 14 cards left in the deck. Just maybe. So that's a storm forth. Ether returns. Upside. Strike. Uh -huh. Strike. So like Utopia Future gets raped by uh, storm forth, right? Yeah, you can you can use stuff. 
But is it bad if he does that? Do we care? Like I can make these go into battle phase, basically force him to summon his ether. Then I get back two. Well, but Skarm also dies. It's kind of weak. What about normal summoning Rubik or special summoning Rubik? Making Virgil, then making Utopic Future, forcing him to, forcing him to uh, storm forth it, and then we get back two monsters with the Dantes, and then we can use Virgil to spin a card. But this is also not winning us the game. This, so I guess we will try that out. So the game one goes into time, and you can win with Barbar. I don't think that works out. Maybe he he like uh, does storm force immediately on the Virgil. I don't think you can live long enough to like use Barbar ten times. Like I said, he's doing exactly what I said. Which one do we take? Um, sir? That one we, we can use that to spin something. And then like... Skarm already went to grave this turn, we don't have to worry about that. Far, far. We have a normal gap, so we can normal whatever we take and then use this effect as well if we detach it. Mm. Graph? No. I guess a card that is really good in this matchup is Fire Lake. Oh, I think I'm gonna go for a Fire Lake. Um, how do I do that? Like, uh, I, I think we have to go for a Fire Lake. It makes a huge difference in my opinion. Why does he banish that? Okay. He doesn't. S 
so it's been that And I think this is the turn where we cannot protect anymore because it's just gonna storm forth away our ether, right? Uh, Beatrice, and then we just we, we just cannot win. We cannot win. I mean, we can't far far one. Like, I mean, just think about it, if we just had, if we are able to establish a fire lake this game, we are in a, in a pretty good spot, like, most of his stuff is gone. Like, ten cards left on the deck. One for one, he's gonna thin his deck even more. Idea is a big deal here because he will get recycling on all this stuff. Like basically, he's gonna get the domain with that, and that is that is a big deal. DNS flawless, thank you for the host. One viewer hype. I'm giving that prime. Just like <laughs> I cannot give him the domain, that's a problem in this matchup. It really is a big deal. Like it, it would it would be possible if you just didn't care about domain, but like you have to like the grind game cannot go forever because at some point he's just gonna domain and you die. That sucks. Such wow, yeah. Eight cards in his deck, man. We almost there, fam. There's far, far.
So I think we survived this turn, right? Because he has... Yeah. Six cards, boys. The thing is, he has Prime in hand, so he can recycle two and draw one, but that only effectively recycles one card. I don't know. <laughs> can we do it? Why for Dante? He doesn't have targets for return anymore, so we can strike that bitch. Thank god it's not raided, so he's gonna let us do it. Uh, 1500. That's actually pretty good. So. this mm-hmm we're gonna save our Virgil here so we can spin that domain the place boys the place are real Random people usually message you when you are not streaming, yeah. Not that often, but they do. It's fine though, it's fine. Which deck will we be playing in Cologne this weekend? I won't tell you. But I will be playing an extra deck, I think you know that already. I will be playing an extra deck, no worries. So there's the Virgil. Mm, how much impact will Premium Gold make? Um, it will do. It will have a big impact, honestly. Like it will have a really big impact. It's not only burning a base with Beatrice, but also just like number thirty-eight is insane. Like it's the best rank eight in the game. So. Uh, that's gonna be huge in, in Pendulum and yeah. It's gonna shape up the meta game quite a bit. Monarchs with extra deck <laughs> cut up right. <laughs> So we spin that domain. Man, Burning Abyss need a Burning Abyss that mills three cards from the opponent's deck. Then we win. The music too loud? Is it too loud, really? I can turn it down if you want to. There you go. We are also out of Farfoss. can make another utopic future. Yeah, because of domain.
I'm using a uh, tour guide here before I upstart just because I don't want to. I don't really want to draw. I think. Um, we use Sir already, so probably Skarm. And now upstart. Yeah. Terrapal, that's the worst thing ever. Oh god, warum? I think we have to go into another utopic future. Or we can en oh we can now we can enable the fire lake somehow, can we? We would have to crash the Dante. Is it worth it to crash a Dante for a fire lake? It probably is. Dante, we crash, we get Fire Lake. Well, we, I think we lose <laughs> if we do that. I think we have to go for Utopic Future. But he probably has Stormforth and another Ether, and then we just kind of lose. Uh, do we? I'm not sure. I th think we don't have to use Effect here. No, I, I think we go for the, the second Utopic Future. Like that. Okay. I mean, I would love to go to an American YCS, I just cannot afford it at the moment. If I can ever afford it, I will definitely do it. turn right no I did not order Hogan's book yet Puts back Stormforth and Tenacity. I mean, all you have to do is Erebus. If you are able to enable Fire Lake a little earlier, then you might actually be able to beat Monarchs game one. Maybe that's something you should just play on, like keeping that in mind on your first turn, immediately sending Fire Lake to Grave with, with Kanya and then go on like that.
like this. The question is, do you send three or do you send one? Three. Uh, uh, far, far useless. Rhino for Graph for Skarm, I think. That's a pro play, my friend. Not waiting for the mask, just blindly hitting it. That's a pro play, man. Idea and Airbus, okay. Wow. Sixteen hundred. Do we have to? Do we have to set this guy? I, I uh. There's no prime. Not prime. Oh, we should have said it. Oh, God. That Majesty's Fiend, though. Oh, the comeback, though. Oh, God. Pokemon TCG? No, I don't play that. No, no, no. What is that scolding? Might be scolding. No, it, it can't be scolding. What if you're scolding on Dark Hole, right? Yeah. We are 
winning this, my friends. We are winning this. Oh, oh God, reasoning. Oh, we have to side, we have to call it. Please. Oh. I think we break through that bitch. And I think we just we just activate mask. Now that I'm thinking about it even more, like if, if because he he could just no he couldn't. Uh, I thought he could just Koras pop our Dante's, but Koras can't attack if he uses it. But it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's, uh, chill, guys, chill. We got this. We got this. Touch scan just turn. Just make the third Dante twenty five. Oh, warning, okay. Yeah, it's the same, like, nobody feels bad for siding masks against Monarchs, they deserve it. They deserve to get masked. Let me play my Monarchs. No! She wasn't ready. Hmm. Much think, wow, very Monarch. Very top deck. That's not how it works, my friend. That's how it works. See yep, yep. I mean, two twin twisters are gone, so our chances are not bad. Man, that Majesty's messed me up, man. Okay. Oh. Uh. I should have made a downer last turn. That's stupid. I always forget downer and it's fine.
gotta be the pantheism. No, the prime. Oh, he he drew he drew the pantheism. Okay. Or not. Yeah. Yeah, it might actually make a difference that I didn't make the downer last turn. I should have made that. I like the OCG list. I think the format is at a point where they need to do some heavy hits. At least I would prefer it like that. I don't like Pendulum format. I don't like Monarchs. I don't like uh, Cosmos. I don't like Strike. Uh, I think it's it's not that great for the game that these cards exist right now. We're giving him the Prime here just because you know we don't want to give him draw power for his Twin Twister. Because two Twin Twisters are gone. Unless he drew the third one. We, we should have it. Mm -hmm. Reasoning is bad, my friend. Reasoning is bad. Uh, we, all we needed is a Burning Abyss monster, so we can upgrade our Dante to run over these boys. Now he has Prime, so it's even more annoying. No, I didn't call 6 with reasoning because I have strike for Kuraz. I have strike, 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 strike. So I wouldn't have minded if he had a hit. Yeah, exactly. Now we won because we can just twin twister our grab away to summon a uh, barbar. Not nothing you can do about that, honestly. Unless he runs Skullmeister. he goes first does that change anything do we take out masks not really right not really do we take in a twin twister yeah okay I, I dig that I dig that twin twister instead of what a mask or trap traveler seems to be weird against monarchs like this or Kill Ray, not take Ray, Ogre, no, no, no. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I think after siding, if you take in like Dark Holes and uh, all that kind of shenanigans, the matchup against Monarchs is actually not that bad. Pantheism, Prime. Uh, 
Uh, we cannot out domain right now. That's the, the thing that is gonna fuck us up. a weird ratio to show honestly with our pantheism like if you want tenacity you can just show triple tenacity but it's weird Ooh, we break did he break yeah <laughs> that tour guide though Potentially win this turn if that's not a warning. Could also be a storm fourth. I think we summon tour guide before. Or do we even use tour guide this turn? Not Rhino, I'm not sure. No, we use tour guide. Tour guide into Rhino is broken. And once again we drew the grab, which we don't want. Maybe we should add a Libic for that scenario. That's very annoying. That is very annoying. Top. That's a good mill because we don't want that anymore. Man, these mills. Rhino. correct of him not to not to take every damage because then he would be dead of course I think we will still bring Barbar into play here just to start burning we 
We took the one that has Farfar under it, so we can quick detach Farfar in his turn, that's cool. Graf uh, will either send Skarm here is tempting. Sending Skarm is tempting, but I think Barbar is better. Because we can still send a Skarm on his turn, I think I just wanna start burning on that 3k. Um, banish Alec, banish Farfar, and banish Sir. 900 burn. Set strike, pass. Yeah, really good mills, right? Really, really good mills. Couldn't have asked for better ones. Trolls return his hat must be good now. I think we're gonna give him. Uh, are we giving him the pantheism? We don't want him to have returned to play around strike. That's really annoying that he that he that he was able to do that, able to show the return there. We only have to bar bar for two here, or one, because it, it, it will put him at 1800, which is the range of two bar bars, right? So only one, it's fine. magic number for two turns. I hope he doesn't have return because if he doesn't have return we can still strike and then it's all good. Yeah, produce ether. Yes. No return. No return. Turn with Dante, Barbar bar directly, sir. Scheme one six five. Welcome to CCG stream. Nice to have you here, sir. Oh 
god. What is this under that tour guide? Who plays March? Why would you play March? The cut's terrible. We need a twin twister then we win. We, we, like the thing is we lose because we have to strike face down. If we had no face down we would win. I think. I think. I hope. Oh, oh that's the worst card. That's the worst card. We cannot play that. We have to. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so no one has written me to play, so we're just gonna hop into that again. Uh, Monarchs bore me. So yeah, if you want to play against Burning Abyss, just let me know. Um, I'll be there for playing. gegen Cosmo gespielt, ja. Ooh, that face up though.
we can eccentric our own luster. Mm, but we don't have to do that. It is interesting though, because that would enable us to get another Ariadne search. Um, I think that's a little over the top though. Though is it? No, it's not. I could use Ignister now, uh, I think, I'm not sure if it's worth it, probably better to just have scales, like I could basically trade these two for another trap, oh no that seems worth it. You're gonna decide that at random. He said I can choose because he's he's bored of this shit. Okay, my friend, then I'm gonna take warning. what it is um, we're gonna take out some traps He's right, it's boring, I don't like it that much. It's like, you know, if you if you for example the the finals of Vices Las Vegas is like it was it was over when they rolled the dice because they were both playing a counter trap version. So like the guy who won the dice roll won the game. That was some serious bullshit mill. Like how how do you mill that? Do you see that? Oh, 
do I always get raped by these decks, man? Like Quasar, Mills, Level Eater, and then goes off this deck. Like, oh. Charge for plus three. <sighs> Yeah, Minerva. It's first turn beast, right? Mizuki into Mizuki. Wow, 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 very wow. Well, very much. We're gonna risk the Feral MPA. We need to, we need the high scale. He's having fun right now, I can tell. I can tell he, he's having fun right now. Your mills can't stop me, bro. Why? Ooh, last turn without a good target, though. Uh, how? We can do stuff with this hand, but it's not very good because having to use monkey board turn one is very bad actually, like really, really bad. You want that card later on. You want it to come back basically. You want to pop your scale with sorcerer. 
and then have these these two cards in your deck. But our turn our turn one play here is just not powerful enough if we uh, if if we don't do that right here. So so we painted up some of these two for sure. I think we painted up some of an eccentric as well. And then we can Ignister, um, Summon Master, yep. Yeah, the soil, the soil was strong with the last one. He, he did not enjoy the game man, he did not enjoy the game. <laughs> I missed uh Decision still alive, right? Yeah, okay, we're gonna use that to eliminate the top decks. We could have used it as a fake set, but I think uh, I think I don't want to do that. I, I think I want to minimize the risk of me drawing into these. Do I want to grab a vector? I could just put a vector in the scale in case it's pendulum because we have the dinoster to be safe from wavering. If I if I take vector, I have to keep the dinoster up, but I think that's I think that's reasonable. Yeah. Um, even though then we don't have room for eccentric. Do we want to put that there? No. Not really. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're not going to do it. And this time I think it's good to go for, for Felgrand. And face. We're grabbing a search. And this is where you would normally like to get your no your monkey board, but we cannot do that. We have to I think we get Ariya in here, yeah. So we can stabilize next turn, it's fine. What is coming? Is it Destiny Heroes? I mean, as long as I don't die this turn, <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, it's Destiny. I think it's Destiny Heroes. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is this news. Okay. 
Can we die this turn? So, is there a way he can beat us, like this turn? I'm not sure. He's just gonna hit, yep, yep. Uh, what is happening? And, oh, he's coin flipping for what he's gonna do. Okay, cool. So, Tails, what does Tails bring to us? Good one. So once per turn you can negate a spell or a trap. Uh, that is good, but it's not the end of the world. It's fine. We can we can uh, deal with that. Uh, if that do they run strike in that deck? I don't know. Strike it would be annoying and Rafflesia would also be kind of annoying. But he wouldn't do Rafflesia before attacking, right? <laughs> you can't be you can't why? Like he literally just skipped all his damage. Oh no, it cannot attack. Okay. Um yeah. Okay. Um Hmm. If I activate Eccentric, he can just negate it if that is a good card. So I cannot play around that anyways. Like, not realistically. The, the, the best thing I can do is probably just normal summon Eccentric and, and pop the... If I pop the Void Ogre, he has no damage on board, like 300, so I can grind through back row fairly easily, so I don't, I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's correct to play this in the scale. Warning. Okay.
I think two is the correct number to pendulum here. Euros in Berlin, yeah, hype. I like that a lot. Even though it's still like five hours for me, but I like Berlin. I like Berlin. I'll be able to sleep at Ali's or Piran's house. It's perfect. So we're gonna get a silver claw here and Ariadne. Um This is where it really hurts that we don't have the monkey board anymore, that would be the perfect card here. Because it would also give us another draw. We're getting that, of course. If he doesn't draw a monster, we still win, I think. What, what would he need in his deck to, to beat me here? Like, he doesn't have another tuner. I think, at least from what I remember from the list, I don't know exactly what he played. The heroes represent hype. Yeah. That's probably close to the best card in his deck. Um. What happens if I scolding? I think I scolding. Now it's just 811, so we, we would survive with 700. I don't know if they play another trap card. Do they play another trap card that could mess us up? But Bottomus is gone, that's good. So we take 38 here. And we have double low scale, that's important. Oh, that scolding is hella dead. gonna play around um, Void Trap Hole and um, the other thing by attacking Rafflesia first. I 
Like there's Void Trap Hole and Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. I don't know if he plays that. He might. There's no reason not to play around it. And now we're gonna use Ignister. Ignister. View. Like that. And. Like Giant Hand, is that the safest we can do? Probably. I don't know. Like, what can you draw for one card that would beat us for a thousand? Nothing, right? There's nothing. He doesn't have militias anymore. Yeah. I think we're just gonna go Magister. Magister. Ping. Shuffle that. Um, yeah. Anything that pierces through the fence? No, right, no. Bottom scale. And we should have it. Is that. Ac can he actually win off of that? Can he win with that? Does Darklaw go through the fence? No, right? He, no. Who was that? Whoa! We actually died. I didn't know that. Oh god, I didn't know that. I didn't know that card. I've never seen that card before. Well, I can do nothing against that. I don't know that card. I didn't know that card. I mean, then I would have, of course, just made Giant Hand. I don't. I didn't know that card existed. So stupid. I mean, like it, it was safe game, right? If I just if I knew that that card existed, I would have just went giant hand. But I didn't.
I'm not gonna give him any cards, this deck should actually be very likely to break, so... Maxi Hero Lives Malicious Greffer. It's a pretty good opening hand if you ask me. Lazy again. Wow, that was the only dead card in the hole that we drew it because we sided out a vector. Sick. Sick, 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 sick.
Wow, does he have the dream? Does he have Idea as well already? Spell reveal domain. Yep, yep. I think that's literally the best opening hand monarchs can have. Like the absolute best opening hand they can have. Period. I want to play some more Burning Abyss after that. Just uh, someone please message me if you want to play. I don't want to play any more Pendulum format, it's so boring. Like that was just literally the best opening in the whole game. Like it's the best opening that exists at the moment. Looking forward to Euros in Berlin? Yeah, definitely. I like Berlin. It's a nice city. It's not even that close for me. It's, I, I said it already. It's like four or five hours, but uh, I still like it. It's fine. So, so far. That was a good one. Oh, 
Uh, I don't want to search guitar to monkey board, kind of like because then I will not have room for eccentric anymore. I think I want to make Dweller and uh, pass with this Golding. I think that's, that's reasonable, I think. That just in case he cited Majesty's Fiend. Yeah, but Kurazia was. was I heard the reviewer games. Yeah, I, I, I want to do viewer games. Uh, I, I, I want to play some Burning Abyss and I can't do that in uh, in Raided. Yeah, okay, we got him. We got him good. Answer too. Yeah, we can play after I play against Tibor. He messaged me first on uh, DM. After that, we can de definitely play. So far, so good. So far no domain, that's the most important part. But he's probably gonna send um, Pantheism and then banish it to search domain. Gonna get a tenacity. There's the domain. Okay. Yeah. 
we, we got this, we got this. So what does he what is what does he play? Um, he he probably has a storm fourth, right? A storm fourth should be there. What else can be there? Warning, they could play warning, but warning screws us over pretty much anyways. But I think we summon it. I think special summoning is correct. Then normal summon this. Typhoon, that. Think, think, yes, think, think. I have a response, yes. Yes. No twin twister, please. Um, we're gonna pendulum summon three here, I think. I think, or two, yeah, two. I uh, know it's just like if he has warning as well. Like, what what do we do? We we have mask. No, we pendulum summon three. It's it's not likely enough for him to have warning. Like how how do you think about that? If you have warning, you're just warning. Like there's literally nothing you have to think about. Okay. Sword on scales. Dude, what's what's wrong with you? Just play. As if it's so hard. Yeah, I, I pretty much knew it was prime, but it's okay. We have to get rid of it anyways. Uh, 
the, he used Prime already this turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We can push through a good amount of damage here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what do we get? Do we get monkey board or do we get eccentric? I think we get monkey board. Monkey board. So, if he doesn't have a Twin Twister, we can win this. If he has a Twin Twister and he sets up his um, domain again, we might lose. Unless we draw something with that, lose a draw. Return. I already know we're gonna give him return. Or stone forth. What is worth? No, we're gonna give him return. He knistern mir doch ein. Pray for no out. Sad for you, my friend. How do we do this? We, we should Ignister. Oh, we should have summoned with Ignister already. Why didn't I do that? I should have done that before drawing. Mm -hmm. 
so we can ignister one back row um, and technically we could also die with another but I don't think that's worth it yeah I mean we have everything right now Uh, I think breakthrough skill, okay. Um, Which one do we spin? Uh, I don't. I, I think I want to spin the idea, just so he doesn't get um, the draw from the banished pantheism. for the draw I like it when they shuffle their hands so that you don't know that they top deck. It's like, oh. Like, yeah, I totally had that before. So, yeah. 
So who messaged me for viewer games again? Oh yeah, here, he did. Okay. And someone else in Twitch chat. I'm gonna do these two viewer games after that. And then it's probably gonna be like 10.30 or 11 and then we're gonna stop it for the day, but still some more to play. So what he's gonna do here is he's just gonna pantheism, banish pantheism to grab tenacity. Like he's gonna show me one domain and two tenacities and then I'm gonna give him tenacity, he's gonna grab domain and yeah. He's gonna run over this one and yeah. 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 Search return. Yeah. No domain. I mean. Yeah. Yep. 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 Now he's gonna run over against there. Let's see. Now he uses prime because that makes total sense after all that searching. Eighteen cards in the deck. We can't even get to another MST. It's impossible. Or the or Uragaki or Dark Hole. It's like no, no, no. no. Wow, he doesn't have another one. <laughs> okay, well played, my friend, well played. <laughs> he doesn't have an idol, no, he has no normal summon this turn. <laughs> oh god, oh god. These people are killing me. Like the the problem is we can technically we can wavering eyes and then grab eccentric, but it's just not gonna work. You can just uh, I mean we have to try, right? Yeah. Look at all these outs. Out, 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 
out, out. No, 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 not getting it. So he's gonna cool us and uh, we need to draw a card with that basically. We need to draw an out with that. He used Idea, he's dead, he can't use Kura. Hype for admin call, but uh, we won. We won. We will just use a, a centric on domain, and then uh, yeah. Is there any admin in chat? That would be nice if someone could just come and solve it. That would be spectacular. I mean, idea is only chaining one if you use it with a uh, optional monarch. That is, of course, true. But uh, the relevant monarchs are all uh, optional at the moment. Of course, a mandatory effect goes before an optional effect. But uh, idea is early trigger, so it goes as chaining one before the optional monarch. Man, the wait. I mean, you can uh, just put any question in the chat and I'll answer it while we wait or something. That's all we can do. We've been pretty fortunate so far with admin calls while streaming, but with Monarch in the meta game, you have to uh, you have to expect some people uh, not knowing what they're doing. Yeah, feels bad, man. <clears throat> How 
you can Baylor Eidos? I mean, you just Baylor Eidos. I don't get the question. Eidos effect that you get another normal summon triggers when it's summoned, so you can negate it and then he doesn't get another summon. That's how you Baylor Eidos. So he still has a priming grave, so we have to keep that in mind when we go for the OTK. So we can summon five. Uh, we only have one Ignister left. There's some difference in uh, in the effect of Eidos and Pollux, I think. There, there, there are some that you cannot Veiler, you are right, but Eidos is one that you can Veiler because it activates on the summon. Like, it starts a chain when it's summoned to get another normal summon, and if you negate that, it's not. Like, summoning Pollux doesn't start a chain, I think. I think that's the difference. gonna be summoning everything uh, we can put if we put sorcerer in the scale we get boost on everything that's kind of nice okay we can continue I am correct oh this <laughs> so much hate <laughs> <laughs> He's Batman, yeah, it does. So, all our, if we, how much boost is it if we just summon this? It gives everything plus sixteen hundred. I think we can just summon five in attack and just attack with everything, like one, two, three, four, performer piles. Everything gains plus a thousand and a thousand basically plus sixteen hundred because we have silver claw and silver claw here plus sixteen hundred bang 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 he 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 doesn't survive that even with the prime graveyard right um he has a prime graveyard and yeah, I think that's game, right? Like 1600 plus this guy is 34, we do 1600, yeah.
Got him. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he fucked up. There's the MST. Oh, we would have drawn it off of Kuraz if if he did if he didn't activate uh, Idea. He we would have drawn it, so it didn't matter. So if you're watching this, my boy, you would have lost either way. <laughs> ah. Okay, that was Tibor. Where is he? Tibor. So we're gonna play against Tibor with some more Burning Abyss and then depending on how long this takes we're gonna end it for the day. There was someone asking me in stream, in the stream chat, a lot earlier today because that Monarch game took forever but okay. I'm gonna play with Tibor. That singles rating though, the one is important, the one. That is some that is some serious solemns right there. Mm. Do we do we mill three and detach the sir? Just like complete YOLO? I think we do. I mean we have so many burning abyss. How many do we run? Fifteen? Yeah. I think it's actually statistically correct to, to detach the Sir here. Yeah, okay. That last minute save though. Maybe it's not correct, maybe you just detach Alec, but like, if you hit anything, it's pretty good. Yeah, last minute. Rubik saved our day here. He's gonna try some sniper, you know. He's like, yeah, I hit strike. It's, I think it's 14 burning abyss monsters that I'm running at the moment. See over seventy percent of it more than one BA. So I think it's it, it probably is statistically correct. Because if you hit something like you, I, all I need to hit is a BA and a Rhino or a Graph or and I get another Dante, has a pretty big upside in my opinion. I think we make Beatrice. 
I think it's better to make Beatrice than uh, another Dante. Pretty sure. Rubik dies, but we don't really care. And face, we get a Skarm search. Uh, for what? Sir, to summon back that Dante. Well, no, we, we want to send Sir, yeah, right. Please no sorcerer, that would maybe get him back into this game. Also I, I just noticed I should have just attacked with Dante and... Uh, I should have just attacked with Dante and... Um, what's it called? The tuner Rubik and then main phase 2 I should have made Beatrice in defense, that was a small slip up. Skarm, Vanish Alec, Vanish Sir, 900, and then just Regeki and attack. Does Beatrice detach? Beatrice detaches when you use the foolish effect. Oh, we can do it now. Let's do a whole match. So my side deck for Pendulum is fairly simple, I'm just siding Ghost Ogres when I'm going second and Skill Drain when I'm going first. Uh, I don't think you, you should... Uh, maybe you should side Fragrance, I'm not sure. Um, we're gonna side out an Ali. A Traveler is probably too slow when going second. By the way, the Breakthrough skill is amazing in this deck because the, the best way for Pendulum to deal with Beatrice is to summon um, Dweller and then you just send... Uh, Breakthrough to the graveyard. In general, I wanna I wanna try out some more cards that you can send with Beatrice. Like, there's a lot of options basically because Beatrice can send any card. You can you can even consider cards like Shadow Dragon or Mischief of the Gnomes. Some people already mentioned it in chat. There's a ton of cards that are good in the graveyard, of course, and you can you can send every single one of them. Uh, so so I, th I think Beatrice is actually pretty amazing. Do we side in a dark hole? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can side out a strike when going second. Um, yeah. Scattershot, yeah, scattershot probably takes up too many spaces, but technically also possible, right? It's kind of kind of insane. Galaxy Cyclone I tried Galaxy Cyclone, but that's just not necessary. It's just not good enough. Just like you send Cyclone and then you then what? You destroy one face up card? What do you destroy with that? What, what really annoys you that's face up like you can take away scale but you might as well play like Shadow Dragon at that point the problem with Shadow Dragon is drawing it is completely awful in this deck so okay we, we went first interesting decision of him to go let us go first it's I, I don't think it's correct to be honest and we do that before we upstart because uh, we don't want We do not want to go into that guy. So we summon Takit Tak 
tuck, 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 and um, do we know upstart first or nah? Yeah, yeah. We know we would have milled that. No, no. She wasn't ready. Mm. Three. Use this Arlik. Breakthrough is okay. Um, I could make another Dante, but I want a discard to make Beatrice, of course. And I'm gonna set the Reno Warrior. Or no, no, no I'm gonna normal summon it. Uh, normal summoning it because I can send potentially I can send um, Graf and then summon something and it will not die because I have the Reno Warrior on the board. It's actually kind of handsome. Uh, we're gonna get a search here. That's probably gonna be tour guide. Yeah, tour guide strong. I mean, Scattershot is pretty powerful, I guess. It's one of the most powerful cards you can send, probably. I'm just not sure if it's worth it to play triple Scattershot, because, like, with triple Scattershot, you really have to think that you're gonna draw one. Also, you're gonna hit it with Dante way, way too often. Like, you hit it with Dante on your first turn, and there's nothing to destroy yet. <laughs> no. um, I think you should... Um, not play scatter shot in burning abyss. Um, maybe it, it might make more sense in other decks, like you mentioned, like Dragoonides and Erratics. They can because they don't mill. You know, they don't mill the scatter shots away before they need them. They can just make Beatrice. But like in general, there's a lot of possibilities with Beatrice, and I like that. Draco face off. Okay. Can you s activate scatter? Yeah. Intent with Beatrice. Yeah. Never Slayer. I think I want to far far one away so he cannot dwell here before. Yeah. Please luster. Yeah, come on. No high scale, maybe. I mean, if he has a high scale, it's still a pretty good situation for him. He still pretty much wins. Um, it's like, I've experienced it a couple of times. If you just open Beatrice plus Maxi against Pendulum, they, they just they cannot win, usually. Because look at what, what what I would have done if I had Maxi in this case. Like, I would have Maxied his unexpected die, and there's no way he can continue playing like that. But now he's going to be able to summon Ignister and uh, Dweller. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. like he's gonna have Ignister, Dweller and a, and a card from Ariadne, so we lose. Where 
part of my soul I'm sad. Ooh, he's he's taunting me. He's taunting me. Mm. We will meet again in game three, my friend. We will meet again in game three. I would be surprised if he didn't dwell her here. Um, which one is better to give him? Warning, maybe warning just because it costs more because they do the same thing. Oh, I'm gonna give him a strike, I'm not sure yet. Can't activate scatter shot. Okay, I didn't know that. Somebody uh, suggested it in chat. That's why. Uh, okay. So like he's either gonna make a uh, dweller here or another ignister with majester to summon luster. It's also a good play. That's probably the better play even for him. Yeah, it's not game, but it's a lot of damage. Uh, I'm not sure if we can come back from this. We have to kill his board. If we kill his board, we can actually come back. Like, I mean, he has the strike, right? So he can strike our tour guide. But his x ray is so full, and he's gonna get a monkey board in the end phase. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. He's gonna use this, that, and then. Maybe even make Lance a lot of fell grand, I guess. one is he gonna make? Maybe he already has Titan Galaxy like number 38 in his deck but it's not that great against uh, Burning Abyss but like yeah. Felgrand, set strike, solid. End phase, this returns. Monkey board. I mean, that has to be monkey board, right? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's Joker. Uh, I think monkey board is safer, but okay. Nice strike, I needed that, okay. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Why? 
luckily for this meta, here you go. What do I think about Dark Claw in Burning Abyss? I think it's not necessary. It's not bad, but I, I just think there's better stuff you can put in your deck. So going first, strike skill drain coming in, dark hole going out. As I said, I'm gonna keep Maxi, I'm gonna side out the Ghost Ogre, I think. Or I'm gonna maybe I'm even gonna keep the Alligan Traveler. Instead of mm, an upstart. Okay. No. Yeah. Scout rose to 20 euros, why? <laughs> He's so happy about this, okay. Why was nobody plays Soul Charge in Burning Abyss here? Yeah, maybe, maybe you should, I'm not sure. And uh, I like this hand. Where is Taka 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 there? Is there any merit to using Foolish before, just in case we hit something, but... Uh, no. The thing is, I don't want to use Foolish this turn, because I'm gonna make Beatrice, so whatever I summon with like a Graph is gonna be useless. Sorry. Oh. That's a good one, that's a bad one, and that's a useless one, because we already have that. Still a pretty solid opening, I would say. Strike, Ghost Ogre, Beatrice, we can live with that. But it's never, never Maxi. I never have Maxi. If I play combo decks, I always run into Maxi. What's my favorite format? Uh, full Power Dragon Rulers, I think. Next to um, Necros, when. Necros. After Jin and um, Mono Mermaid. The July ban list, what was that? Which year? Which year? 2015 after July, what was that? Pendulum? Like Pendulum with Magi Spectre and stuff? After Jin. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's, that's like sixth. Uh, 
Um, Necros performance. Yeah, that's, that's, that was a really good one. After Jim, bam. Necros format was even really good before Jim, to be honest. But after Jim, it was, I think, even better. Like, why says Remini and stuff? That was just very amazing. Uh, take your strike. So he's playing around Ghost Ogre. We're gonna assume that he's not stream sniping, so he's playing well right here. Uh, the thing is, this is not gonna be enough to play around uh, Beatrice. Like, I can still just. Um, I'm gonna. I think I want to hit this Master Pendulum. Because if he makes Dinosaur, we cannot ghost over this thing anymore. Played this one well, yeah. He top decked, well, he top decked a lot before. So now it's gonna be um, Castell to get rid of Beatrice and have a strike face down, but he's out of resources if he does that. He ha it has to be Castell right now, I don't think there's anything else, yeah. Set strike. Maybe have, ooh, have another face down. Okay. Okay. Um. It was unfortunate that we like we, we could have drawn any burning abyss that was not sir and it would have been fine. But as long as he doesn't draw luster, I think we're fine.
I mean, what do we do? What do we expect here? Like we expect a pendulum monster, a level four pendulum monster. That's the most likely thing to happen, and we can deal with that. That would be fine. Full power Pepe, full power Necros, full power Necros. I mean, the thing is, Pepe isn't even that strong of a deck. Like, Pepe is just like, it's the best we have right now, but only because the format is very weak in general. Um, yeah. There's a level 4 Pendulum. The thing is, with Dinoster, he doesn't even get over Skarm. Um, but with Exceeding, he also loses the material, so in the long run, he doesn't win like that. I'm not sure. No, Necros is, is better than Pepe, definitely. Like, Pendulum itself is just not even a very good mechanic. It's very, very uh, high invariance. Like, basically, when you have scales, the mechanic is very, very good. If you don't have scales, the mechanic is the worst in the game because it doesn't do anything. Like, it's not. Pendulum summoning is never consistent. Like, it's never okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's either completely unfair or does nothing. So there's the Dinoster and he's not gonna be able to get over our Skarm. That was the best draw I think. That was the best draw in the deck, pretty sure. We can make a Beatrice now. That was kind of a useless. It, it's it's it sounds bro more broken than it actually is. That we hit that graph. It's not that not that important.
That's looking good. Uh, we can just get a huge traveler and uh, be happy. Oh well, that's game. Like we, I think we have game either way. Oh, we have a we have a runner like here. We can just. Okay, we're gonna have a look at the deck, and then that's gonna be it for the day, I think. No messaging. Yeah, no, I think. Okay. Uh, the Draco Pals, that's standard. So, Burning Abyss. Um, what's, in your opinion, the best single card in the game right now? We're gonna answer that real quick. Well, um, it's kinda hard to answer. Um, HTTP Chris, welcome to CCG Stream. The best single card in the game right now. Um, I would generally from the generic cards I would say it's twin twisters honestly like if you if you if you find a deck that can abuse twin twisters the card is, it gives you a huge advantage like um like we we can be happy that twin twister is not abusable in pendulums because otherwise that deck would just it would rape everything um it's it's a huge advantage if you can use twin twister this format it's one of the best cards Lamburn one, welcome to the stream. Um, other than that, Regeki is pretty format defining right now. And then from like the the archetype cards, Draco face off is completely broken. Pantheism is pretty broken. Prime is also pretty broken, stuff like that. But overall, the power level is not even that high. Nubu Nature, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Now that I want to talk, everyone is subscribing. So one change I would make to this list is I would probably add a Libic instead of an Alec. And that's it. Overall, I like Burning Abyss a lot. I like the ability of being able to um, not play that many traps. Um, I would probably try to bring one or two Horn of Heavens in here. The Fire Lake, I didn't, I did never really use that, but I can see it being useful. The Speed Droids, I'm not sure. Um, so 
overall, I think Burning Abyss is definitely a contender next format. Like, this is a build that I made very quickly. I'm not sure if this is the best possible version, but the thing is, if you go first with um, Beatrice, it's a lot of pressure on the opponent. He has to get rid of Beatrice, otherwise he faces a lot of damage next turn. But Beatrice itself is very good at disrupting the opponent, because you can always send Farfa, you can always send Alec to negate stuff. If you have one of the two under Beatrice, you can even do both. If you play, if you open double Beatrice, it's completely nuts. Um, and even if you go second, you know this deck has Maxis, this deck has Twin Twister, right? Gecky. It can, it can work when going second as well. So, I think Burning Abyss is definitely a good choice uh, coming up. I think it's better than people think it is because uh, Beatrice changes a lot. But to be to be fair though, I'd, I'm not sure how good it is against Cosmo and Monarchs. Like we played against Monarchs earlier, and it was a pain to play against the big guys. Like it's not even all about a domain. It's also like the 2800 beaters. Like how do you beat that every turn? You know, because Burning Abyss doesn't really OTK, right? Like if you dark hold them, you usually don't win on that turn. So you have to do it again on the next turn and stuff like. And it's the same against Cosmo. Like even worse because you can't get over uh, Dark Destroyer. Like I guess the the F0 helps a little bit with that, but I'm not sure how, how viable it is uh, against Cosmo and Morag. I would have to test that out a little bit more. Um, though the side deck options are pretty strong for Burning Abyss. Like, being able to mill this with Dante, I think, is insane. Um, Mask, of course, Skill Drain, stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, Burning Abyss, something you, sh you should not uh, count out Burning Abyss for next format, I think. Um... And, yeah, because he's asking me if I like Burning Abyss more than uh, Phantom Knight Burning Abyss, with Beatrice I would play pure Burning Abyss. Unless maybe you re replace, like, Speedroids with Phantom Knights, but that doesn't really work because Phantom Knights take too many deck slots. But yeah, coming to an end, Burning Abyss, try it out, I like it with Beatrice. I think it is a top contender, not like uh, Phantom Knights, I don't think Phantom Knights are a top contender. Uh, in this format and um, but overall I think we're gonna get a ban list soon anyways so it's probably all not going to matter too much but if they don't hit burning abyss on the next ban list keep an eye on it so thank you guys for watching and um, this is gonna be the last time Yu-Gi-Oh this week uh, as far as a normal stream but for all of you fans out there there is going to be CCG Grand Open in Cologne this weekend, which is gonna be um, a huge event. The, the first three, and my my dog is like going wild. Okay, um, the first three places will get a flight. The first first flight will be to uh, to America, and the, the tournament. I hope it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be in Cologne. If you cannot be there, there will be live stream on this channel with um, Michel Grüner and Robin Bachhofner commentating on Saturday and on Sunday. So. Come to Cologne. If you can't come, join the stream on the weekend. Tomorrow there's going to be Hearthstone with Michel and uh, I'm out. Thanks for watching.